of pain user. A bunch of Bailings is going to help. It might not. He might be able to take out one bunker and then a handful of Marines, but he will be able to do a significant amount of damage there. Now, it does look like pain user is looking to push out here, which is going to be um, trouble for him as the Bailings are going to be able to get... Um, I don't think he has Stimp Stimpak is getting research, so the Bailing should be able to run in here and be able to kill a handful of the Marines, but actually Pain User is able to get back to the um, bunkers, which didn't even matter as those Bailings just rushed in there and just straight up owned his army and those bunkers. And Pain User was forced to pull off a bunch of SCVs to repair that last standing bunker, which actually almost died there. He had only about eight health left before um, the SCVs got to it. Now we have two more bunkers are finally going down for Pain User, and we have a bunch of uh, initial attack units here by KVZ coming over here doing a ton of damage. K Ooh, this Baneling is going to hit kill a ton of SCVs as it's morphing. Actually, it is going to get killed before it explodes. It was morphing right in the middle of the SCV line. That would have been devastating for Pain User. Um, now, Pain User is uh, finally getting that stim pack just about done. Um, he is now just getting a factory, but he has a ton of barracks up here. So he was looking to get some fast marines on the field as he is now just working on some marauders. As he only had a couple of marauders on that uh, original uh Push by KVZ. Now KVZ is just rallying over more Zerglings. He's finally um, getting a third base, so he is working on his third base here as Pain User has just fully got his uh, natural fully saturated, and he is just now getting the gas for his natural. So, uh, there's one thing about Zerg you always want to be one base ahead of your opponent. It's it's just really helpful. I mean, you don't have to, but it's just something you want to do. That's why you always see a lot of Zerg players expand uh, at around 15 supply, get that right away. It's just, it helps a lot. Now, we do have an Evolution Chamber did finish uh, just a um, mom few moments ago. Um, so we do have Tier 1 Ground Armor uh, is on the way. Now, we also have another Evolution Chamber on the way here for KVZ as well. So KVZ is looking to um, get some tech uh, as for his uh, ground army, which makes me think, as he doesn't have a roach warrant, I think he's just going to get a spire. Um, actually, he's getting an infestation pet, which is going to be uh, something you don't see too often. Um, but I think he's going to um, get a spire when he can, and we actually might be just seeing a, a Muta Ling build, which is pretty popular, especially against Terran. We do have a bunch of um, Zerglings over here uh, by the another expansion here um, by Pain User, so he's keeping an eye on Pain User in case he decides to expand again, which is exactly what he's getting ready to do as he is building that command center. Now, we do have Siege Tech on the way, as well as Combat Shields for his Marine Marauder Army, and he also has Tier 1 Infantry Weapon on the way. Um, well, that Overlord's going to die and explodes to pieces. Now, it does look like uh, Pain User did notice these Zerglings over here by the Expanse, so he is looking to push out to clean up these Zerglings here as he does Stimpak and is forcing KVZ to run out those Zerglings probably back to his base or over where he has a few more Zerglings over here in the bottom corner. So we are going to be seeing Pain User finally work on his third base, so he's going to be about even with his opponent. Now, we do have uh, another Bunker Rush here by Pain User, which... I honestly don't know what his plan was there, as his marines were pretty far away. Uh, I, I don't know why he decided to do that. Maybe he was just distracting his opponent. I don't know. Now, we do have a siege, first siege tank is finally on the field. Uh, actually, no, sorry. That's uh, second siege tank is now on the field. We have a bunch of SCVs getting transferred here by Pain User, as Pain User is actually looking to take over the high yield. Good move on his part. Now, those four marines just got demolished and eaten alive by these Zerglings. Now um, KVZ does see the transfer coming over here to the high yield and his um, Zerglings were moving in to pick off those SCVs, but the army from Pain User is able to reinforce this base and is forcing KVZ to pull out once again with the Zerglings. So he is going to be able to um, full, um, be able to de fully defend uh, this high yield expansion before he starts mining from it. Um, and he is also getting that Planetary Fortress, which is uh, going to be devastating against uh, KVZ, especially if he keeps building these Zerglings. Now, these Zerglings are a little mis um, micro there, as only a few of them were attacking. He was able to um, pick off, uh, I think, like two SCVs from the Vespian Gasser, and he was almost able to pick off um, that missile turret. So it didn't hurt, and there wasn't too much of uh, damage going on there, harassed there by KVZ. And KVZ is still massing these Zerglings at the moment. But he is getting tier 2 ground armor as well as tier 2 melee attacks. And he is just now tra um, transitioning into a hive. Uh, so he is going to be getting... I won't be surprised he gets... Uh, 
Actually, I don't know what he's going to get. I don't even want to guess. He's got infestors that he hasn't even used yet. He is building up a little bit of an army. I had a little lag spike there for some reason as my frame rate's not dropping. It's at about 46 right now, which is actually the lowest that I've seen it lately um, with fraps on. Anyways, now we do have the planetary fortress is done. We have a good sized armor over here by pain user guarding this high yield. Um, so he's definitely going to, this is going to help him uh, tremendously. I mean, he's he's got all the mules. He's probably going to use every single mule he can at the high yield. He's going to be having a huge income um, momentarily. Now we do have uh, KVZ is still scouting around with these Zerglings, trying to keep an eye on his opponent, trying to see what's going on. And I won't be, you know what? KVZ needs to get a Nidus network going on right in this corner right here. That would be a perfect place to get a Nidus network into the main and just do some, some terrible, terrible damage. Now, it's a few Banelings there, just <laughs> a little sacrifice by KVZ. And we have one Marauder, one health left. Look at that, one health left from that Banelings, uh, surviving that little Baneling, um, bash there. That, that's, that's awesome. One health. I, I never seen anything that low. I mean, I've seen like two or three, but one, that's great. Uh, now, it does look like we do have a fourth base is finally on the way for KVZ as well as the fourth base for pain users. They are both about on par with their base. Um, when it comes to supply, uh, obviously, pain users supply block themselves. That's something you never, ever want to do. As soon as you realize you're getting closer, you know you're going to be queuing up a bunch of units and um, basically, supply block, uh, you want to start getting down supply depots. You never want to be supply block. It sucks. Now, we do have a nice, good move here by KVZ coming in from the back, being able to pick off a bunch of these SCVs as Pain User was able um, the well, actually, he's not able to defend that. He was um, pulling off a bunch of SCVs to defend against this, and he was forced to um, bring back some army. Now, we do have a push over here at the fourth base of KVZ by Pain User, and these Banelings are going to be able to explode. It took um, about a quarter of his uh, Marines there. Was able to blow up a bunch, but not enough. KVZ is forced to pull off all his drones and his queen back to his natural, and as this attack is going on by Pain User, we have a um, counterattack by KVZ. Um coming to the um, natural of Pain User, but Pain User has a good defensive there. He has a um, Thors, a handful of Marina Marauders. He also has a Siege Tank on the field, but he is retreating as he does not feel safe enough to defend against this attack by KVZ. And I am surprised he is still massing Zerglings, and he does... He does have an Ultralisk Cavern. I'm surprised he doesn't have any Ultralisk on the field. Oh, he has four Ultralisk getting queued up right now. So he is just starting to get some Ultralisk on the field. He, I think Tier 3 Weapons just finished. Uh, nope, that was uh, something else just finished. I, I got the glimpse of it before it finished, so I wasn't too sure what it was. So he is uh, sticking with a massive Zergling build here into uh, Ultralisk, which is a little odd. Now these Siege Tanks just, I guess it was Miss Micro by... Um, Pain user there as he just lost a couple SCVs to his Zergling surround. And this plan, ooh, that is another miss m uh, micro there by Pain user um, as he just did lose uh, his fifth base. Um, he wasn't able to pull off those SCVs and, um, quick enough to repair that as those Zerglings were able to get the surround and pick those off and picked off the rest of those SCVs. And he was in the middle of building a planetary fortress, so he has lost a ton of minerals there. Now, we do have a good-sized army, almost 200 supply cap tier for Pain User, a bunch of, uh, he has an MMM build um, with some tech, uh, yeah, tech, mech. He does have tech, not much, but he, uh, he does. Um, so we got a nice, uh, decent army size here for Pain User, and KVZ is morphing in some Banelings on the side here. And those are, ooh, another miss of Micro once again by Pain User as he's going to lose a handful of SCVs and they also have high yield minerals in there. Um, I actually don't know why he didn't uh, I don't know. He's doing a lot of Miss Microing this game um, and Pain User is supposed to be one of the best Terran uh, in I think he's in North America. I don't think he's a Korean pro. He might live in Korea but I th I, I actually I'm not too sure which one is but he's supposed to be one of the best Terran um, overall and he's doing a lot of mistakes here. Probably because there's a lot going on. Um, and now we do have KVZ having a bunch of Ultralis, um here. And it does look like he's probably going to push out to this high yield. Which could be a problem as that Planetary Fortress does a lot of damage. And he has a ton of SCVs here. As well as an army size in the back to defend against any push. Those SCVs can repair pretty quickly. 
um, especially a, um, a command center as it doesn't lose health too much. Now we do have tier 2 vehicle weapons are finally on the way, just about done. We do have infernal pre-igniter, the blue flames, four hellions are also on the way and we also have tier 3 um, Terran weapons are now on the way for pain users so he's finally looking to build up some tech as he is 200 to 200 supply count. So he is supply captain. We have a huge push coming out here from pain user as well as KVZ is pushing out but we do have plant a fortress down here and um, pain user needs to start repairing that um, plant a fortress that base is going down and at the same time pain user is going to be able to clean up the natural um, of KVZ so we got a nice little uh, basically a base trade um, neither teams are pulling units to repair this base is gone by pain user and we have um, Ultilis just flying out all over the place not really flying but they're running all over the place they're looking to get some damage done and at the same time, we have a bunch of bailings just pulled in here and uh, killed a ton of units from Pain User. He lost a bunch of Marines and Marauders there. Another Altalus did just finish, but he was able to pick that off. He has a good handful of Siege Tanks as well. Now he is looking to clean up these hatcheries. Now at the same time, we do have KVZ is working on the natural of Pain User. Nothing here defending. All the SCVs are getting destroyed. It's basically whoever can kill each other's base as fast as is going to work. We do have a good handful of Marauders here and a Siege Tank to defend against this. I'm surprised doesn't have the siege tank siege. He is now sieging up the siege tank that should have been sieged before, but uh, better late than never, I guess. Now, we did have uh, something got destroyed there. Now, tier 3 um, infantry weapons are just about finishing, so that's going to um, help Pain User quite a bit. And Pain User is splitting up his army to take out the bases as fast as possible. And that plant a fortress just got demolished by these Ultralis. So it's basically whoever can kill each other's base faster um, is going to win this game. And it does look like Pain User is going to win on this fact. Now, he is able, about to finish off that main. And um, KVZ does good game and leaves. So definitely a uh, pretty decent match. Uh, I gotta say it was a very odd uh, starting build here for this Terran player as he went to five racks into factory, into starport, into more factory build. Um, that was just a little little odd, but hey, it worked. And for KVZ, I, I think he stuck with Zerglings way too long. He did have Infestors that he didn't really use until towards the end, which I'm actually quite surprised. He could have used them a few times there and done some damage. Um, and he transitioned in the Ultralis way too late. He should have went and if he was sticking with the mass Zerglings, he should have at least transitioned in the Mutas incredibly quickly or got that Ultralis Cavern on the ground as fast as possible. Um, now I do gotta say I'm kind of surprised Pain User won here. I thought he was gonna be in trouble uh, for a little bit. He was miss microing, um, microing, uh, microing. Um, I probably screwed that up. I don't really care at this point a lot. Uh, but I guess it didn't really matter in the long run. He was able to overcome the armies of uh, KVZ, and he was able to destroy his. Um, KVZ's base faster, and uh, there you have it. This game goes to Pain User, and I'll see you all next time.